Question 10, lenses and the lens equation. Right, calculate the focal length. Gives you a little bit of uh, blurb. No diagram, so I always like to draw diagrams. You just, 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 just sketch out a cheeky little diagram just to let you know what's going on. Right, so we, what do we got? We've got a converging lens. We've got a convex lens. Um, now we are... Um, projecting the image onto a whiteboard. So it's, it must be a real image. Okay, so what do we got here? We've got our lens. We've got our object quite close. Now the rays. Okay, we're having that kind of carry on. And that kind of carry on. So there we have our inverted magnified image that's projected onto a screen. Okay. So just a quick diagram there. Right. Um, what have we got? We've got the lens equation. This is all we need to start with, really. So so 1 over F equals 1 over U plus 1 over V. F's the focal length of the lens. Now, because it's real in this case, we're producing a real image. The focal length is positive. Now, U is the image distance, V is the object distance, all the way around. The U is the object distance, V is the image distance. We've got to convert them into from centimetres to metres. So we have 1 over F equals 1 over 0.09 plus 1 over 0.75. Okay. F comes out in meters, 0.08 meters. Okay. The image projected onto the whiteboard was real. Okay, well, we figured that out for ourselves. Thank you very much. Uh, state what's meant by a real image. Right. You can't say here, real images are ones you see on a screen because it tells you that. Now, what, what's the de what, de what defines an image to be real? It is... It is the rays, the rays converge and come together again where the image is formed. Okay, that's what a real image is. With a virtual image, the rays never come back together. They never converge together after they've left the object. But they do with a real image. And finally, I like this bit. I like this question. Right, here we go. This is all about resolution. Uh, resolving power, right. The eye, okay. We've got two dots, two dots on the phone. This is, this is the, on the object, they're five millimeters apart. Okay, can the, can the, uh, the student resolve them? Can they, can they see these two dots as being separate? Or are they too far away? Do the two dots look like a single dot projected onto the whiteboard? That's what we're after here. So it's that's called resolving, right? Um, anyway, where do we start? Right, so the two dots on the phone are five millimeters apart, okay? How far apart will the two dots be on the whiteboard? Right, well, we know magnification is taking place, don't we? Okay, now how can we how do we calculate the magnification of a lens? Well, magnification is image height over object height, but it's also image distance over object distance. Because remember, we have similar triangles here, don't we? Yeah, these angles are the same. We've got two similar triangles. So magnification is also image distance over object distance. So that's where we start. Right. Magnification is how much is it going to get bigger? The the, the the distance between the dots. Magnification is what have we got? Image distance seventy five over nine, isn't it? So the magnification in this case. is 8.33. So the distance between the two dots on the whiteboard is 
magnification multiplied by the original distance between them, which was, where is it? Okay. Five millimeters, wasn't it? There we go. The, on the phone, they're five millimeters apart. So on the whiteboard, they're going to be five times 8.33. 42 millimetres apart, aren't they? Nice to get out into standard units. There we have it. Right, so that's the distance they are apart. Right, now we've got to do a uh, cheeky bit of trigonometry. Okay, so let's draw what's going on here. Um, I just redrew this. Right. So if these are our two dots. Whoops. Right. Now I just, uh, I took half here. Okay. So, because I want to look at this triangle here. So this distance here was half, of, it's half of 42 millimeters, isn't it? So this distance here is... 0 0.021 meters. That's this distance. This distance here, that's the distance the student is from the wall, isn't it? So that's 4.5 meters. So what's this angle here? Okay. Tan, isn't it? So opposite over adjacent, tan is a so tan theta is opposite over adjacent so that is 0 0.021 over 4.5 so theta came out as no I left it in radians why did I leave it in radians 0 0.0 nine rads ah yeah that's why because it, it gives it, it actually gives the angle in radians there right so this angle here this angle theta i'm reckoning is 0 0.009 radians okay sorry not quite that's a little bit incorrect Theta there is not 0 0.9. So tan, let's start again. So tan theta is 0 0.021 over 4.5. Now I just I I, I put I turn my calculators radians. That gave me a theta of 0 0.00 for six radians. Sorry. Now for this total angle here, we just double it. Okay, so doubling that, we've got 0 0.009, which, as we can see here, is greater than the angle needed to separate the dots. So the answer is they can. Okay, so don't just leave it there because the answer question asks you to give it give an answer, doesn't it? Okay. Deduce. Have you deduced? Right. You need to say, don't you? There you have it. Quite a nice question, that. I like that one. Right. See you later.